All right, guys, stick around if you want to learn how to make the perfect chicken adobo. It's sweet, it's savory, it's perfect, it's sour. You're gonna love it. How you the one? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get it. Grab three to six garlic cloves and peel them like so. We don't want the skin. I say three to six, I'm using three because they're extra large. It just depends on the size of your garlic cloves, guys. Also, it depends if you're a vampire or not, so you gotta make that decision yourself. Smash and mince the garlic like so. You can do it fine or really fine. I wanted to mince it really fine, so this is why I'm kind of doing it twice over. But you gotta do with it what you must. That's all I'm saying. So now that we've got our garlic just about minced up where we want it to be perfect, let's throw our garlic into the chicken bowl. And make sure we're getting our chicken thighs and chicken drumsticks and or into a large mixing bowl. Next, we are going to do about one third cup of soy sauce and that goes into our mixing bowl with the garlic and the chicken. And then next we're gonna use white vinegar or rice vinegar and we're gonna do about one third cup into our mixing bowl as well. How you doing? And throw it in there, mix it up a little bit, give it a little swish swish. Next we're gonna throw in four dried bay leaves or fresh bay leaves if you have them. Throw them in there and grab your tongs guys. It's tong time baby. Mix it all up, get it nice and juicy. Make sure the flavors get to know one another. Everyone's friends here. I'm adding a little more equal parts of soy sauce and vinegar just because I wanted a little more volume, just because I love the sauce and I love it as a gravy. So we're gonna let this marinate for about 20 minutes at least or overnight ideally. Next, grab about half a large onion or one small onion, guys. Very easy, how you know? Dice it up like so. It literally looks like little dice, kinda. Anyways, so dice up your onion just like we just did. And now that we're done marinating, let's get ready to sear these bad boys. Let's get our pan up to, uh, let's say roughly around uh, a good heat. Oh, oh, by the way, so we're using a pot to sear and simmer the drumsticks. And if you're doing thighs, use a flat searing pan. So use a flat saucepan for thighs and a pot for drumsticks. Anyways, let's get two more garlic cloves. Let's mince these guys up. How you doing? Uh, like I said, if you're a vampire, I'm sorry, but if not, you should enjoy this. Let's get our pan up to medium low heat. This is gonna be good for cooking our onions and garlic on low heat, and also it's gonna get us ready to start simmering our marinade. So what we're gonna do here is get the pan up to heat. Once it's up to heat, throw in your oil, you choose the oil. If you want to keep that nice Asian profile, that flavor profile, use sesame oil. Tastes fantastic, works really well. Throw your chicken thighs and or chicken drumsticks into the pot and let's sear these guys up. We're gonna throw a little more oil in just so things don't stick. You never like your chicken to stick, right? So make sure we are using our tongs and we're rotating and we're searing. You'll notice the color of the skin starts to change to a nice brown color. We're browning, we're searing, we're looking good. How you doing? Nice and juicy. So we're searing, we're searing, we're searing. Things are looking good, guys. Boom, bada, beep. Throw your chicken out of the pot and into a separate bowl. Let it rest off to the side. And let's throw our pan into low, medium, high heat. Throw some oil back into the pan, and next what goes in is our diced onions and minced garlic. We're gonna cook these up a little bit, let them get a little translucent. The garlic should start getting a little more flagrant. Once that starts happening, then the next natural step will be throw the marinade in, guys. It's gonna create a beautiful marriage of flavors. We got the bay leaves and everything. It's gonna be amazing. Throw it in, mix it up, and let's bring it up to a simmer. Mix it up, guys. That's all I'm saying. Next, we're gonna add about one, one half cup of drinking water. Make sure you're using drinking water. Ideally, that's kind of the best thing we can do. And then two tablespoons of sugar. Brown sugar is recommended in a lot of recipes, but today we're using cane. It's not gonna make that big of a difference. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. You're a DJ, how you doing? Mix it up. 
And then grab a handful of whole peppercorns. I say about a small middle sized handful of whole peppercorns goes into the mix. Mix it up like everything else. And let's just keep it going. This is a party. Now that we've mixed it all up, we got everything in. Let's throw our chicken in last and get them nice and snug and submerged under that marinade of seawater. Time to cap. Let's kind of let our chicken simmer for about 25 minutes or so. And we're gonna reduce the liquid down till it gets just a tiny bit syrupy and basically get ready to plate and enjoy. Thanks so much guys for checking in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy this amazing dish. Cheers.